All right, this is 2018 uh, SPM questions, uh, MF questions, and the student actually like tell me about this question, and, and they say this question is uh, very hard, so I decided to make a short video to discuss about these questions. Um, okay, I just assume the C's over here is combinations. Um, when you see NCR, I guess the first formula come into your mind will be N factorial over N minus R factorial and R factorial. Right, so today I go, I'm going to uh, use this formula to explain about this uh, this question. Yeah, this question is a bit uh, unusual for me because we seldom see this kind of question. But because I teach about combinations, I always see the example like this. Example, so today if let's say I tell you 10C4, then you type in the calculator, you know it's 210. So today if I tell you 10C6, you type in a calculator, you will get 210. Okay, so this is what's so interesting about this question is why both the R value is different, 4 and 6, but end up we actually get the same result here. Then we need to go back to the formula here. So example 10C4 here. So we actually have 10C4. If I expand in the formula, it will be 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial and then here will be 4 factorial so and then if 10 c6 this one will be 10 factorial over 10 minus 6 factorial 4 factorial so if i further expand here you should be able to see you have 6 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial so here is 10 factorial this one is 4 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial so you realize actually they are the same Top is 10 factorial for both, bottom is 6 factorial times 4 factorial, here is 4 factorial times 6 factorial. So therefore, in order to make both of these one expression is, uh, like make an uh, equation to connect both of them, one of the easiest way is how do I get a 6 here? Basically, I can use the 10 to minus 4. So 10 minus 4, so that means if I want to get a connection between them, I know m basically will equals to the y minus n. Alright, so if y in terms of m and m, then y will just equals to m plus n. Alright, I let's try about my theory. Is it correct or not? So I randomly give a number. I say do they x c3. Alright, then we type in a calculator, we see what is x c3, and then we will get the value is 56. So if I want to get another value with same with the x c six and it start with a, then I will see x c five. How do I get five here? Basically, is the y minus m. Yeah, you say y minus m. Yeah, but I guess it's the same. So therefore, I will get five here, and then it's fifty six here. So therefore, if I say um, the m value here equals to y minus n, then I will get back the same thing. Or I can say, because both of this one also is y, right? Or I can say n, in order to get the value n here, that's mean in order to get 5 here, is 8 minus 3, right? It's equals to y minus m. So if I move the m to the other side, I still get the same result, which is m plus n. So I guess this is the equation they want. Yeah, this question actually is like, uh, it's not really test of common sense, but you need to like understand this formula quite well. And then at the same time, you will need to actually know, you actually you can make a connection between them. Right, so yeah, this is the way I'm solving this question. I guess this kind of question, maybe it's just one or two marks. Anyways, I hope these short videos can help you understand how to solve this kind of question. I will see you guys on the next video. Alright.